at the uh, Sherwood Gardens Shopping Center. And uh, this is right next to the uh, Starbucks in the Sherwood Gardens Shopping Center. So right across the street from uh, uh, basically the Rodeo Grounds in Salinas. So the sort of drop-off location tonight will be here till 6 o'clock tonight. And then, of course, during business hours tomorrow and on Friday to uh, help folks allow them to drop off their gifts, their pledges to our kids in need here in Monterey County. Now, Valley Health Plans, I've got uh, David here from Valley Health Plans. David, now, uh, how was Valley Health Plans involved this year in Project Santa? Well, we joined Project Santa last year. We're a community-focused health plan. We serve Santa Clara, San Benito, and Monterey counties. Because we're a regionally-focused plan, we want to partner with organizations that have trust and credibility within the communities. We heard about Project Santa. We joined up last year, and we're excited to be part of their project for this year as well. Yeah, there's nothing like being able to help some kids in need here in Monterey County, especially around the holidays. Absolutely. Our staff started asking us you know, several months ago how they would be involved this year, how they could start to contribute to the toys, to the fundraising, to the donations. So a lot of enthusiasm and excitement about finding a different way to give back to the community other than health coverage. Perfect. Thank you so much. And uh, thanks to everyone, obviously, who has brought in their gifts so far. We still have a few pledges that need to come back into our barrels. And of course, if you still want to contribute to Project Santa, uh, you can call the number, which we had on our screen earlier, but we'll have again during our 530 newscast. But I want to kind of switch gears a little bit. We want to talk about an astronomical event happening tonight and actually last night as well. But we are going to be dealing with a little bit of clouds, so we can pull up our weather graphics here. We're in the midst of the Gemited Meteor Shower right now, which is actually a pretty... Uh, active meteor shower. Now, the clouds will make it a little bit difficult, but it could be a lot worse. We're not talking about thick, low clouds that makes it really hard to see. We're talking about semi-thin high clouds. So you should be able to see some if you are patient out there. We could be talking about dozens per hour. Uh, this is this happens every December, but our weather's not terrible for it. So maybe take a look tonight. Best viewing hours are really between around midnight and 2 a.m., but you can stretch it between 10 a.m. and 4 a.m. if you want to check it out. And you can just look up somewhere in the sky. Otherwise, the other thing coming from the sky, maybe some hydro meteors. Uh, that is going to be starting on Sunday. So let's take a look at our big storm tracker. And over the next several days, things are going to start to change for us. As you notice offshore here for the next couple of days, we've got uh, a weather system beginning to move its way in. It's going to be slow, eventually getting closer to us as we head into uh, the weekend. So by Saturday, it's just offshore. And by Sunday, it's starting to arrive. So I'm thinking on Sunday, we'll start to see some wind and some lighter precipitation. But as we head into Monday, it gets a little bit thicker. But notice it just kind of keeps spinning there here for the next couple of days and we get this next system that starts to dig in behind it and that one is going to kind of add to what we've already seen the moisture that's been drawn up already and pack in some cold air behind it so i think tuesday into wednesday we have a chance of seeing some heavier rain and some stronger winds so these first couple of uh, rounds i think uh, sunday into monday won't be quite as intense but it certainly will be an inconvenience we're talking about wet roadways but i'm watching this uh, tuesday to wednesday system which could last all the way into Thursday for the potential for some heavier rain, which could lead to, obviously, uh, some minor flooding or something to that effect. So that's what we're trying to get prepared for. In the meantime, we still have a couple nice days to get through. So as we look at our short-term future track here, you're going to see mostly clear skies overnight tonight and really throughout the day tomorrow. We'll have a few thin high clouds coming through. And really, that's just going to be how, that, uh, how it works all night tonight and all the way through the day tomorrow. Uh, and then we're going to go look at our temperatures tomorrow. So... Our overall air mass continues to warm. It will continue to warm all the way through Saturday and then start to cool down as the system comes through. So as we look at Santa Cruz County to start off with, we're going to see another day with highs in the mid-60s. These highs will be 2 to 5 degrees above normal for this time of year. So nice and warm and mild anyway across Santa Cruz County. Uh, south and east we go lots of mid to upper 60s. To Watsonville, Salinas almost 70. We'll get to 70 in Gilroy, San Juan Batista, and Hollister tomorrow. December 70s, can you believe it? Toasty stuff. Over to the Monterey Peninsula, mid-60s for the most part tomorrow. Still nice and warm folks there. Even Pacific Grove at 64 tomorrow. And then down south, plenty of 70s showing up up and down the Salinas Valley. So uh, a warm couple of days still. We look at that seven-day forecast. We're going to jump up a few more degrees on Saturday. And the reason is because I think we'll see less cloud cover. So we're going to get the warm air mass plus a little southerly flow. And on top of that, less high cloud cover to block the sun. So I'm jumping this up five degrees on the coast. And then after that, well... Uh, the rain arrives, and it's going to be with us probably for five or six days. So we'll have gaps, obviously, during that time, but plan for rain every day. And again, we're watching that Tuesday to Wednesday time frame for some heavier rain and probably some gusty winds. Inland areas also basically the same story for you folks. Uh, warmest day is going to be on Saturday. 
then comes the more active weather. So obviously we're going to be keeping track of things for you. Make sure to keep tuning into our forecast. We'll let you know what to expect. Uh, and that's it for us during this half hour for, uh, for op projects. And excuse me here from Valley Health Plans in Salinas, but we'll be back next half hour with more. Back